Hi guys, we're working on the uh, Precision Matthews PM30 MV here. And today we're finishing up some of the stuff on the Y mount. And I've had multiple people ask me about how much travel you get. And now it is a double nut system, but the double nuts will go underneath the frame right here. So all you, that leaves is the flange that doesn't go in. Now the mount, that's it there, it's a one piece mount. And this body is NEMA 23 or the, uh, if you use the DMM60 uh, servos, they also have a, a, a DMM58, which is a NEMA 23 mount. And so the DMM58 will just bolt right on just like a NEMA 23 and it's powerful enough to run the X and Y for sure on the YS30. You know what, and it's actually a pretty darn good deal. Um, so they, uh, your NEMA 23 mounts will fit like this. And, uh, and then a lot of people want to run NEMA 34, which also includes, uh, DMM has a 86N, not the M, M is metric. The N version stands for NEMA, has a NEMA 34 mount, which that's the way it goes on there. It's held on with three bolts. It goes into the same mount. And your shafts are a little longer on your uh, NEMA motors, so that actually all works out. And then you can take your, uh, I think this one here is a, that's a 900 ounce, but a 650 ounce is actually fine for this. So the question is, how much over travel can you get with the slide, and how much travel you get out of the slide? So. Uh, Stock travel is about like there, and it actually hits the knob. So with the NEMA 23 mounts, you'll be able to over travel actually as much as you want, but that's actually way probably more than most people would want to get. Um, if you wanted to over travel to this amount, which allows you to run NEMA 34 or NEMA 23 motors, that will yield 11 and a half inches of travel. Okay? So if you want to cut the mill, you will cut 1.35 inches out. Now I normally don't like cutting them too much because it might weaken the mills. Now you can't see here, but you have one cross member here. They actually have a cross member right underneath here. So I would say there'll be no effect at all of cutting out a hunk and uh, if you look at the way the head centers when it's all the way back like this let me see if I can find something the head is about two inches off the table in that direction and if you were to go all the way forward to here, it's about, let's say an inch and a half. So it's close to centered in that direction. So um, I think for most people, now it depends, your vise is gonna hang off the back like always and it's gonna hit your column. Um, you'll lose travel if you run an vice. But if you're running a vice, you, you're not going to be pitting 10-inch uh, wide pieces on the mill. So if you're working off the table, the table will be just slightly underneath your dovetails. So depending on what kind of way guards you have, you can get a lot of travel out of this mill. So it's actually really nice. I love this uh, this mill. The castings are fantastic. So um, it's been taking me a while to get the Y mounts and stuff done. The X's are done. Um, and the Z mount is actually the same as the old kit that I made a couple years ago for the Weiss 30. So those parts, I just got to start making them. So now the what, uh, PM30 does have a strut on the Z mount. And uh, I haven't checked this one, but they said on the old one, the struts didn't give you full travel. And so when you put the ball screw in there, you end up bottoming out on the strut. And I'm thinking that may not be the greatest thing. So, um, but for now... 
that's it. That's our new Y mount for the PM30 that will give you 11 and a half inches of travel. Gosh, I already lost my tape measure. Where'd it go? I'll do it again. Oh gosh, I set down my tape measure, now it's gone. Okay. Okay, either way, we measured it once, so that was, a, it was 11 and a half inches of travel on the Y-axis. Thanks, guys.